We are Marc, Amy, Juliette and Clément from the medieval Chateau de Rosière. This Christmas we've made you a very special advent calendar. Every day from the 1st to the 25th of December we will open the door to a different room in the chateau and introduce you to its past, present and future. Merry Christmas. Hello everybody, this is Amy and Marc from Chateau de Rosière. And as we get towards the end of our advent tour, we've had to make some choices about what we show you because we have more than 25 rooms in the chateau and lots of outbuildings, but we decided to concentrate mostly on the chateau this year. And it might seem strange, but we're going to show you a landing now, not a room, but it's really beautiful, really um, old and we hope it will be an integral part of our living space in the future. And so we're back on the very top floor, apart from the attic. Indeed. And it's much warmer, so I've, um, I've taken yeah, a Yeah, Mark's in his t-shirt because it's above freezing at the moment. Yeah, and the window's open too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what we really like about this floor is that it has hardly been touched since the early 20th century, maybe even before. And so it still has a lot of its original features, like the beautiful uh, tomates on the floor, the clay tiles. Oh, they're so uh, gorgeous. They're really oh. pretty. Actually, they're really worn and uh, broken in places. Yeah. So they will need a bit of, uh, of uh, patching. Yeah. But there is uh, what I particularly like is that they have been changed in the places where they were uh, worn the most and probably completely broken. But they didn't have the same tiles yeah. as, as elsewhere. And so they just uh, patched them they with uh, what, what they, they had. And yeah. so, yeah, they are all uh, different sizes, different shapes. And I find it actually quite charming. Yeah. So when we redo the, this floor, we will uh, certainly keep these features. We will have to change the most broken ones, but I think we will try and uh, and keep uh, this uh, mismatched uh, yeah. thing, which is really part of the history of the, the chateau. It makes us feel warm and cozy up here, doesn't it? Yeah. I think what will be nice is uh, if we can send them and, uh, well, obviously, uh, the dustify them <laughs> De -dustify and, uh, <laughs> and uh, regrade them possibly yeah. and uh, seal and uh, yeah there's yeah, a lot of work it, yeah i mean they look it's nice to say oh we've got a, an original floor up here let's keep it but mm. in order to keep it probably requires more work than laying a new oh, one completely. <laughs> definitely a, a lot more work but, but i think it's really worth it because it's yeah. uh, it's not the kind of floor you well you don't get that atmosphere no. with the new floor and you we don't have these tomettes like this anywhere else in the chateau do we no. apart from this landing mm. which is why i really wanted to show you this particular landing because even on this floor that was relatively untouched it's all wooden boards isn't it in the rest of it so this is the only place with yeah. these yeah. lovely floors yeah the wooden boards are probably more recent uh, they were probably changed in the 19th century uh, whereas this is uh, probably one of the very, very old ones. Yeah. Um, it might be from the, actually before the 18th century. Yeah. Um, and uh, the other thing, the, the funny thing about this landing area though as well is that although it's got an extremely rustic floor, it has a beautiful plafond de la Française on top. Uh, which we've been talking to you about these tiny beams that go in between the big beams. And so in this hallway, we intend it not to just be a space where you dump stuff in between moving between rooms or something you just pass through. We intend it to have the feeling without being closed off of being an actual room and a living space, mm -hmm. don't we? Yeah. Um, actually, you said the the floor was rustic. It wouldn't have been at the time because the at the time they would have had to import the tiles from the valley because there's no clay around here, and uh, so it would have been actually quite a fancy floor. And the pl the um, putting uh, clay tiles on the one of the top floors was also a way to reduce fire hazards. Because if uh, you had a lot of wood everywhere, 
de If There Was a Fire on One of the, the Lower Floors. Uh, if it was wooden, it would just uh, go all the way through the, the building to the roof. Whereas with those tiles, it, create, uh, it created a non-flammable layer. Uh, and if the floor below was going to, catch, but the ceiling was going to catch fire, uh, the when the when it uh, it Collapse. uh, collapses, it would make a big layer of uh, that would uh, at least partly suffocate mm -hmm. the fire and prevent it from uh, from um, spreading elsewhere in the building. This bit of the floor has been sealed off by previous owners so that we've got the uh, foot to be insulated. But at the top of the stairs, Mark wants to show you something. Yeah, there is something we actually noticed quite late, which is a little pulley up the ceiling um, that would have been used as a winch at some point for lifting things all the way up in the uh, through the staircase and actually what's uh, actually quite nice is that there's the mark of the rope or the cable they used on the railing of the staircase so these are all the dense the notches yeah and it would have gone up through well there this to one. that pulley yep. fantastic rubbing on the staircase the entire way down um at the moment we sort of store things up here which is why there's all sorts of chairs these are actually chairs that were here when we um moved in that we don't particularly love and are going to be moved on elsewhere but we're also storing some old wallpapers that we've bought at auction and this is one that mark bought me for my birthday one year and it's partly at least where the um inspiration for my tile mural bathroom that we showed you yesterday came from actually i can't unroll it all <laughs> and so it's been mounted on fabric so that it can be moved and uh we're yet to find a beautiful place for it but it could potentially go on the wall in here in future and gates over the spider. How old is this, Mark? Probably early, early 20th century, I'd say. Early 20th century. It was the fashion of uh, Japanese uh, style and chinoiserie a little bit. Uh, actually, it looks more Chinese than, than Japanese. But it's, uh, yeah, it could be late 19th or early 20th. Um, anyway, I love it. Uh, and it's uh, where we store it up here uh, to keep it away from anything that might damage it. One thing we had when we arrived in on this landing was this little wardrobe, which is one of the very few original pieces of furniture that belong to the chateau and that have probably not uh, not been moved. So there's no, really not uh, nothing very special about it. It's a, a pine wardrobe, and uh, with it had a nice little lock with the um, uh, yeah quite uh, fine iron work. But uh, yeah, the the interesting thing about it is that it was uh, it has probably been in this chateau all its life. It's been visited by a few birds as well. Yeah, yeah was probably uh, somewhere in the attic where some pigeons uh, managed to come in. <laughs> what I love about this space is that it's deep enough that it can feel like a room, not just a passage. And with the incredible views from this window um, of the Alps, of the mountains being so much higher than on the other floor, um, I feel like this is going to be a gorgeous space for some um nice sofas to sit on maybe a chaise long maybe one day i can read a book again and i could sit here and do it <laughs> what are your dreams for That's this space what um, dare i ask uh, well don't know yeah for possibly but uh, i'd rather be outdoors so i'm not sure yeah. I, i'm not sure i'd be spending a lot of time in on the landing <laughs> But I just feel like it could be a really nice communal family room in place of a living room as such on the top floor. Um, and I'm 
it's one of the spaces I'm most excited about because of this light and this view and the cosy feeling of the floors and there's the grandness of the uh, plafond de la Française as well. Thank you so much for watching again. Sorry, the light's getting a bit low right now. It's the problem of filming in the winter. Um, we've got just two more episodes for you. Um, and I hope they're going to be really interesting ones and that you're not going to be so flat out with your Christmas preparations that you can't watch them because uh, we've really enjoyed taking you on this huge tour of our chateau. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. We'll uh, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.